Hi, I'm Randy Neely. And I'm Jerry Goebel. Be sure to watch your teams on Madison County School Sports Television.com, where we highlight every child in Madison County, no matter what the season. Make sure to watch your school sports at Madison County School Sports.com. Hi, I'm David Sullivan. In the years traveling with ESPN and covering sports around the country, one of my biggest concerns was that my dogs were well cared for. Well, here at Luxury Pets, you can feel very comfortable your animals and pets are being cared for. Well, thank you, David. You know, Luxury Pet Services is the home for happy dogs. Luxury Pet Services is located about three minutes from Richmond Center. Visit our website or Facebook us. Luxury Pet Services, the home for happy dogs. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pet Service, Guardian Bank in Lexington, FaithCreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear in Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, your local repair connection. WWAG playing stars and legends, 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. In the finals between the Madison Central Lady Indians and the Paul Lawrence Dunbar Bulldogs. Should have an interesting matchup tonight. First of all, the winner will go to the girls' Sweet 16 and play Wednesday afternoon in Bowling Green. So you have that added pressure with the Sweet 16 riding on this ball game. Madison Central comes in with a record of 26 and 28 and four. And the Dunbar girls come in with a record of 27 and six. So two fantastic teams here in the championship as they played last on February 17th. Madison Central traveled to Dunbar and they came out with a victory 73-65. High scoring affair. So it should be a good matchup tonight between Madison Central and Dunbar. We're now Ready for the starting lineup. First for Madison Central, number two, Ashley Hinkle. Number 12, Laren Brooks. Number 22, Ashton Felthouse. Number 25, Heather Hinkle. And number 42, Kristen Congleton. And the head coach for Madison Central, Coach Robbie Cooksey. And now for your starting lineup for Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Number two, Jordan Fender. Number three, Kiera Muhammad. Number 21, Brooke Todd. Number 23, Morgan McEldowney. And number 44, Lakina Parks. So we should have a good matchup tonight as we say it, February, early February. Madison Central defeated Dunbar by eight. So Dunbar will be looking for a little revenge. And from what we could tell while Dunbar played uh, Franklin County to, uh, or Woodford County, excuse me, to get into the finals, uh, they have two guards that are really, really quick. And that is one advantage that uh, Madison Central holds over most teams is the number 12 for the Indians, Laren Brooks is quicker than anyone that she's faced all year. So this should be a big test for Laren and the Indians. So somebody else will have to step up. 
Um, yesterday's game, Crystal Miller played really well. And also, Aaliyah Minner came off the bench and played well. Kristen Congleton is going to have to dominate the boards. And Aston Feldhouse is going to score down low on the post, which is what she likes to do. Jerry, we should have a good matchup. We talk, I was talking about the guard play for Dunbar is just as quick as Laren Brooks. What do you think about a it? Absolutely. It's going to be an intense matchup tonight. Uh, the guards, they have about three guards who play with similar uh, speed and quickness to Laren Brooks. They finish well like Laren finishes. Uh, so they may have a little edge in a way right there. One thing they don't have an edge in is the rest of Madison Central's team. I think Central's deeper when you get past Laren. She's a great player, but they run pretty deep. So we'll see how that plays out tonight. Central controls the tip. As number three, Mohammed, is guarding Brooks as we go around them. Congleton with the feed and got it. Nice start for Kristen Congleton. Good pass by Ashley Hinkle as number two Fender looks to drive, but Brooks cuts her off. So we have Fender and Muhammad as the two guards. You can see immediately how quick they want to get up the floor. Running a 1-4 set looks like uh, Muhammad will hand it off to number 23, McEldowney. And she steps on the inline, so Good start for the Indians, two to nothing, seven minutes and 18 seconds left. And the Indi uh, looks like Dunbar will press man to man. Madison Central immediately goes to a, a packed in defense, letting them shoot it outside, I think, if they, if they can get it up because they see something there that they expect we can overcome. Poor shooting from Dunbar on the outside. Aaron Brooks will come off a high screen. Gives it to Ashley Hinkle on the left wing. Down to Congleton as she'll try to go to work. Fans it back out. Three for Hinkle is good. Three-point shot by Ashley Hinkle. Five-nothing as the Indians start off hot in this game with six minutes and 30 seconds in the first. Number three, Muhammad dribbling up top. Central playing man-to-man. -man. As Todd gives it to Fender, over to Muhammad. Back up to McEldowney. McEldowney over to Fender. To Parks. Parks from 16. No good. Rimmed out. McEldowney fighting for the rebound. And Collinson comes up with it. And we've got a foul called. Wow. Totally after the play. And he's going to call foul on 24. <laughs> Five. That foul to Hinkle. That actually was an over the back from Dunbar. Got away with it. Fender with a three point shot. And she airballs it. Brooks has the ball. She crosses half court. Number three, Mohammed shadowing her as Brooks goes all the way and it's blocked. But Brooks gets it back. Ashley Hinkle will penetrate, gives it to Congleton to Brooks as she lays it up and is blocked by Fender. Muhammad has it and she looks to go all the way and they there call you a go. foul and she scores. That's what Maul Lawrence Dunbar wants to do. They have no other offense but that. Really, you're going to watch tonight. They have a couple of big players, but if you pack it in around them, they really don't have a lot on offense unless they can get you in transition. And one of the keys for Madison Central tonight, or this afternoon, they're going to have to stop the basketball. Muhammad uh, and Fender both like to drive the ball deep, just like that. Free throw is good by Muhammad. 5-3 is our score. Five minutes and 30 seconds left in the first quarter. As Brooks throws it to Feldhouse. Feldhouse is dribbling and shoots from 19. No good. Bad shot there. You can get that any time, as you like to say, Jerry. Absolutely. Muhammad over to McEldowney for three. Got it. Well, it not only was a bad shot because you can get it any time, it allows them to get into the transition. They actually got an open look there uh, because transition defense. 
6-5, Dunbar with six quick points, takes a one-point lead. As we are here in the first, Hinkle over to Brooks, and she'll pump fake and drive and score! And nice play by Laren Brooks. Muhammad did not get in position. Uh, I don't know how many times these kids watch kids who are dominantly right-handed and they just don't get themselves ready to move to the right. It's just poor preparation. I know they're young, but uh, you know she's going to go right. And we saw it, you know, yesterday, and we've uh, we've seen it in the boys' action as well. Absolutely. Just uh, it's just the way it is. And is Muhammad takes it all the way, and it is no good, but. Todd with the offensive rebound and scores tied at eight. Defensive breakdown uh, created the offensive rebound. Brooks has the ball, gives it down to Feldhouse. She spins and scores and she's fouled. Nice move by Ashton Feldhouse. Good action here first, early on, Jerry. Yeah. Good action, 10 to eight. Four minutes, 15 seconds left in the first as Feldhouse goes to the line to complete the three-point play. One of the things that <clears throat> Dunbar will do this afternoon, you're gonna notice, they're gonna rotate a lot of players in and out of the game. They're gonna keep their kids fresh as they can keep them. They just played yesterday, so did Madison Central. So that could be a factor late in the game. As you were saying, number 20, Edwards, comes into the game for Todd. Madison Central is in a 2-3 zone. And almost a turnover, but Todd gets it and puts it in. Oh, excuse me, Fender. Really good. The guards are small for, for Dunbar, but they really are aggressive. Going to the basket hard, and they do finish well. 11-10 is our score. Central with a one-point lead. Brooks throws to Hinkle. Over to Congleton, and it's a loose ball as a uh, good hustle by Congleton to foul house for a three-point shot. Nice hustle by Kristen Congleton. That was a big play. Actually, Dunbar felt like they had that ball. Uh, just couldn't hang on to it. Never could grab it. 14-10, to 10, Madison Central with a four-point lead as Mohammed looks to Fender. Down to number 20, Edwards, and it's no good, and she's out of bounds, so it'll be Madison Central's ball. That's one area where you're small, you're in trouble in the zone. Yeah, absolutely. Ankle gives it to Brooks. If you watch Mohammed now, she is playing Brooks to go right. And we've got a turnover there as Mohammed comes all the way and oh my goodness, what in the world was that? That's a second bad call that he's made. Yeah, you know, you know the biggest reaction the crowd gave had, was not the steal foul call as much as it was when he called it. Right. It's either a foul or it isn't. If he blew the whistle the moment she reached in on her, you'd have said, hey, kind of chintzy, but not a terror, you know, not. Not the worst call I've ever seen. When you wait till the ball's completely turned over to make the decision, right. bad call. He blew the whistle when she lost her balance. And McElbowney missed the jumper and we got away with one. I believe she got fouled, so. They usually even it up, even if it's yeah. subconscious. Just so they even it up. Brooks looks to take Mohammed. Hinkle has it. And back to Brooks. 14 to 10 is Central's lead. Two minutes and 22 seconds left as Brooks for three. Got it. 17 to 10. That shot looked good as soon as it left her hands. Two minutes left in the first quarter. As Fender has it over to McEldowney. Down to Parks and she walked. This is a good defense. Uh, two, three, well, they can't. Dunbar can't shoot the basketball. We got if a you can't shoot it, uh, zones are a great way to go. We got a 30-second timeout by Dunbar, so we'll stay here. We got a minute 58 seconds left. Jerry Madison Central with a 17 to 10 lead. Uh, Coach Cooksey has switched from a man-to-man -to, -man to a two-three zone. 
Looks to me like McEldowney is their designated shooter. Uh, yeah, for for them, they're going to have to either bring in somebody off the bench who can shoot, who they don't have in the normal rotation, or you're going to have to see the ball go inside and outside right. and get shifting in the defense a little more. There's no other lanes being created right now. Madison Central's ball, 17 to 10, and Dunbar is going to switch up their press. They're going to go instead of man to man, go to a 2 2 1 as Ashley Hinkle has it. And she shoots from six, and no good. Congleton did not get to rebound. Hinkle was wide open and shot a six foot or ten foot. Mackle down a four three. Got it. Here, here's what's going to happen. They're going to push the ball, watch it, and if you're Coach Cooksey, you got to recognize this. They're going to push it deep and then fill, fill it back to her on a trailing. Heather Hinkle over to Brooks to Feldhouse for three. Got it. That's two shots that look really good. Somebody needs to take a charge there, but okay. Coach Cooksey's just sailed. Somebody's got to get down there and Stop that penetration because they're like you said they're going all the way to the hole. Absolutely. 20 to 13, Madison Central with a seven-point lead. Muhammad to short and it's good. Sorry, Parks. Hinkle with the ball as she looks to penetrate back out to Feldhouse. Over to Brooks as we go under a minute. 2015 here in the first quarter. Aaron Brooks looks to penetrate and misses the layup. Fender goes all the way and there's a foul called. She tried to get in front of her, but it's knifed off the edge of her. And uh, they're going to do this all night. I watched the last uh, their game yesterday uh, against Woodford County. Woodford County played with them for a long time, but eventually. They just take it and take it and take it, and you have to try to stop them at the free throw line and above. You can't wait to get under the goal to stop them. This shot by Fender coming into the game for the Hinkle girls is Miller and Mentor. We've got 43 seconds left here in the first. 2015 Central with the five-point lead. Fender misses both of them. Fellhouse with the rebound. I'd say Coach Cooksey would like to, for this to be the last possession of the quarter, if possible. Mohammed putting some pressure on Brooks and she throws it away. Well, <laughs> when she's a star and she carries you as far as she's carried you, you're upset. You just turn and look the other way sometimes and say, all right, play defense. didn't say a word to her, did he? <laughs> <laughs> Just go play defense. That's Don't look Cal at me. That's what Caleb Perry says about Gilchrist. When he messes up, I just turn around. <laughs> he plays so hard, I'm not going to say anything bad to him. Yep. All right, we've switched up again to a 3-2 two, uh, two zone. Here with 18 seconds left. Muhammad has it on the right wing. Minner with her. As we get under 10. We need to... Over to McEldowney, and he'd get a hand on her face. Over to number 11, and misses. Middle with the rebound, and that'll be the end of the first. End of the first quarter, Madison Central 20. Dunbar 15. We'll be right back after this. Are you looking for an alternative to burning wick candles? Check out Cincy Wickless Candles at b2enetwork.cincy.us. Give Cynthia a call at 859-684-7952 and ask her how you can get free products from their new spring and summer catalog. A great way for school fundraising too. Call Cynthia, 859-684-7952. Hello everybody, I'm David Sullivan for Rosenbaum Communications. Rosenbaum Communications is a full service television production and media company. We've produced projects and provided services all over the world for such clients as ABC Sports, NBC Sports, CBS, ESPN, Amway International, Time Warner, and many regional and local clients such as East Kentucky Power, Center College, Georgetown College, KET, 
the Kentucky Coal Association, Keeneland, and the Kentucky School Board Association, and many, many more. Give Rosenbaum Communications a call and let us quote and plan your next media project. No project is too small. Our client list may be impressive, but our service is very personal and budget friendly. Visit our website at rosenbaumcommunications.com. Let us show you how to get started. We look forward to hearing from you soon. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pet Service, Guardian Bank in Lexington, FaithCreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear in Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, your local repair connection. WWAG playing stars and legends, 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. Welcome back to Madison County School Sports Television as we start the second quarter. Madison Central with a five-point lead, 20 to 15, and they are playing a 3-2 zone. And they're dropping the point guard to cover the middle area as number 11, Jackson, misses the shot. I'll have to give credit to uh, Coach Lakes. This is his uh, pet defense as Feldhouse shoots for three. No good, a little bit out of her range. Crystal Miller with a rebound and no good. Good effort by Miller. Absolutely. As Jackson brings it across the court. She brings a spark, Miller does, when she comes in this basketball game. Mackle down, he throws it across half court, and nobody there. Well, cutting across the middle was Todd. She just wasn't looking for the basketball. Uh, that's really, besides sh shooting a wing jumper against this defense, you, you got to be able to get in the middle. Right. Well, I, that's one thing that this defense that they just switched to, they're dropping the point girl down to guard the middle person which will leave the top of the key open if you set a screen there. They're going to, Dunbar looks to go man to man. Feldhouse has it down low and hits it. Nice move by Ashton Feldhouse. Good pass by Kristen Congleton as Dunbar gets it to Jackson. Over to Muhammad. To Jackson out on the, on the wing. Right now, they really don't have much in the way of scores. And a loose ball, but uh, Parks gets it and misses. Rebounded by Dunbar, back to Parks. And they call a foul on Brooks, that's her second. Parks is a good player. She's a mid-range jumper, though. She shoots that jumper in this kind of 15 to 18 foot range. She doesn't really shoot a three-point shot. So against this uh, the defense right now you've got, you've got to get somebody down low who can assert themselves. Parks with the free throw is good. She's got a good touch, like you said, right there at the elbow to 10 feet. Laren Brooks has two fouls. It's Make sure that she doesn't pick up a cheap one. Yeah, a nice jumper by Parks. She looked at our crowd right there, I believe. Yeah, I believe she's, she told him to hush. She got training from Brian Station. Yeah, that's true. Gets up for that. <laughs> Miller gives it to Congleton. Over to Brooks. 22-17, five-point lead by the Indians. As Brooks to Minner, and there's her favorite move, and she takes it all away. Nobody's willing to get in front of her yet. Fender to for a pull-up, no good. 21 gets the rebound. Todd. She's a she's a big girl. She has to use adva take advantage of her height. Yeah. She's done it a couple times tonight, but they should do it as part of the set offense. She's hurting them on the boards right now. Todd has four rebounds already. Brooks looks to take it all the way and no good. Gets a rebound and good. 
He could have picked up a charge right there. She's a little out of control. That yeah, was close to being a charge. Muhammad over to Fender. Over to Edwards. Down to Park. And she steps out of bounds. I'd say if you get Parks on the wing of the baseline, that's a whole lot harder than her at the elbow. We got a full timeout by Dunbar. Madison Central 26, Dunbar 19, 5, 18 left in the second. And we'll be right back after this. Hi, I'm David Sullivan. In the years traveling with ESPN and covering sports around the country, one of my biggest concerns was that my dogs were well cared for. Well, here at Luxury Pets, you can feel very comfortable your animals and pets are being cared for. Well, thank you, David. You know, Luxury Pet Services is the home for happy dogs. Luxury Pet Services is located about three minutes from Richmond Center. Visit our website or Facebook us. Luxury Pet Services, the home for happy dogs. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pet Service, Guardian Bank in Lexington, FaithCreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear in Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, your local repair connection. WWAG playing stars and legends, 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. Want to do some school fundraising? Call now. Call Cynthia at 859-684-7952 or visit b2enetwork.cincy.us. Call now and get products from their new and spring summer catalog. Totally free. That Scentsy Wickless Candles. Call now. Are you interested in sponsoring school sports right here? For more information how you or your business can sponsor local school sports and student athletes, contact Sean Rosenbaum at 248- 0280. You can also visit Madison County School Sports.com for more information. Support your school and student athletes by visiting Madison County School Sports.com today. Are you looking for an alternative to burning wick candles? Check out Scentsy Wickless Candles at b2enetwork.scentsy.us. Give Cynthia a call at 859-684-7952 and ask her how you can get free products from their new spring and summer catalog. A great way for school fundraising too. Call Cynthia, 859-684-7952. Welcome back to Madison County School Sports Television. Five minutes here left in the half as Madison Central with a seven point lead. And Aaliyah Minner is on fire and oh, she gets fouled. Somebody, somebody could lose their life getting down there in front of her. She is barreling ahead. Hey, we had not seen that all year, but the last two games, she goes like a house of fire. Let's see if she can hit her free throws here, Jerry, because they're free. She's watched the show. She yeah, watched that, the segment and realized it's not that hard to hit them. She had the backspin on it, like we were talking about yesterday. Nothing like the uh, Brian Station sh shooter. Yeah, exactly. Aaliyah Manor with two big shots there from the line, 28-19. That's the central up by nine. Five minutes and 12 seconds left here before the half. Two-three zone. Madison Central would would love for Dunbar to take some time off the clock and look for their shot. McEldowney has it on the edge. She shoots from six. No good. Rebounded by 44. Park. Got to put that back up off the glass if you're Park. 
Got lucky there. Probably shouldn't have passed it, but good hustle by Dunbar. Bailey O'Brien is into the game for the Indians. She throws it to Congleton, to Feldhouse. She shoots from six. Good. Oh, Coach right, or Dunbar's coach is not happy. She liked that offhand call. She thought it should have been a push-off on Feldhouse. Staying in a 2-3. Parks has it on the wing. Over to Fender to Mohammed. Mohammed looks to penetrate to McEldowney. To Jackson for three. No good. Congleton with a good rebound. Over to Brooks, 30-19. Madison Central with the lead. Brooks goes all the way and misses. But she's fouled. She's I'll say this about the Indians. They are on point right now. Ashton Feldhouse, I hadn't seen her look this good all year. Brooks is her typical self, but uh, Minner has really come in and give them a spark. As all four, defend, all four of Central's players come back down here to get set in the defensive position. Just shows the respect they're giving to Dunbar and the speed that they have. Brooks Absolutely. 31-19. The only thing Dunbar really can do to hurt you is that. Get you in the press maybe and cause turnovers, but uh, they've not done a lot on the offensive end. Muhammad to Fender. Over to number 20, Edwards. Fender to Muhammad. To Edwards. Around the horn to Fender. 2-3 zone really got him tight here to Parks. And it's blocked by Feldhouse. Brooks has it. And she's going to look to go all the way. And she does not. Fantastic idea. Feldhouse has it. Turnaround jumper from six. No good. Good move as Fender looks to go all the way and throws it out to Muhammad. Back to Fender. Good hustle by Minner as Central regroups. Muhammad to Fender as Fender penetrates the lane and off to Parks and lays it in. Nice move there by Fender. She got into tall trees but still was able to slip one in. Yeah, that's a nice move. 31-21 as we go under three here in the half. Madison Central with a 10-point lead. Brooks to Congleton. To Minner. Minner to Feldhouse. And Somebody finally got in front of her. Of course, she was slowing down there. Right. She, uh, the coach had been working on that charge call the entire half, and she got one. Thirty-one twenty-one, two minutes and forty seconds left here in the half. As the Indians have built a ten-point lead, and they have momentum, so we need to make sure that we keep it here. As Fender has it on the right wing, over to number eleven Jackson. Back to Fender, and she walks. They they don't have an answer for zone, and here. Here's the thing. I hate to say it. If you you know if you've not played this way all year, you don't play this way. If you don't have the people to shoot against the zone, you don't have them. But you can't let them drop off you at the point like they are. O'Brien to Minner down to Feldhouse, and she will lay it in. Nice press offense by the Indians. Bailey O'Brien started it to Minner to Feldhouse as McEldowney loses the ball. So Central will have it. Up 33-21. They're struggling right now. They just don't have an answer. Madison Central has total momentum right now. If they could spread this lead to 14, 16 before the half, I think that uh, they'd be in really good shape. Aaron Brooks has the ball as we go under two minutes. Here before halftime, 33-21. Brooks takes it all the way and misses. Laren has two fouls. She needs to make sure she doesn't pick up a cheap one there as Mohammed over to Jackson down to Parks. You're right, Jerry. That They need to get it down low to Todd. They're not even looking at her as number 20, Edwards, tries to take it all the way. And Aaliyah Minner 
is going like a house of fire, but she backs it up. <laughs> and turns it over. That's why you gotta give it to your guard. Laren certainly doesn't need to foul here as Mohammed makes a good move, but misses, and here goes Brooks. Brooks to Congleton, and she'll lay it in and get fired. Wow. That couldn't have worked out any better. Congleton laid it in and got fouled. 35-21 is the Indians' lead. Smart play there before Brooks gets her third foul. Yeah. He puts Ashley Hinkle. I love you, Christmas! They've not... <clears throat> Dunbar has just been uh, a little bit off their game. They're getting down the floor, but instead of dropping that pass off, she spun and made a nice move, but she was so out of control, out of control by the time right. she got spun around, she couldn't get it up on the glass. 36-21, we are at our 15-point lead here as Jackson looks to pull. She doesn't, throws it to number 20, Edwards, and she misses. Minner gets a rebound. We've got 40 seconds left. Fellhouse tries to bring the ball up as Edwards is putting some pressure on her. And oh, my goodness. That's the worst 10 count. Hey, he was counting like this. <laughs> that, there, uh, we got the rebound with 42 seconds left, and there's now 37. Now, you know, I'm not really good at math. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Whitehall. And but uh, but you can count and know that's at least eight seconds. <laughs> <instead of. laughs> I'll tell you what, I've got. That old boy's got some years on him, so I'll give him a little break there. Todd has it down low, and she misses and goes over the back. No call. She gets a rebound and sticks it in. Bailey O'Brien has the ball with 15 seconds left over to Feldhouse. Should we go under 10. Madison Central with a 13-point lead. Feldhouse looks to take it all the way against Parks to Hinkle. Tip pass. To O'Brien. Somebody needs to get a shot up. And we don't. That's what happens when you take your floor general off the off the floor. But uh, nevertheless, Madison Central leads 36-23 as we go to halftime. We'll be right back after this. Hi, I'm Randy Neely. And I'm Jerry Goble. Be sure to watch your teams on Madison County School Sports Television.com. Where we highlight every child in Madison County, no matter what the season. Make sure to watch your school sports at MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Are you looking for an alternative to burning wick candles? Check out Scentsy Wickless Candles at b2enetwork.scentsy.us. Give Cynthia a call at 859-684-7952. And ask her how you can get free products from their new spring and summer catalog. A great way for school fundraising, too. Call Cynthia, 859-684-7952. You're watching Madison County Schools Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pet Service, Guardian Bank in Lexington, faithcreated.org Richmond Tourism Time Warner Cable Madison County Schools First Gear in Richmond Davenport Custom Guitars Your local repair connection WWAG Playing Stars and Legends 107.5 If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com Welcome back to Madison County School Sports Television as we are almost ready to come back to third quarter action. Madison Central leads Dunbar 36-23 and a fine first half by a host of Indians. Their first half against Dunbar. A couple of good coaching moves I thought were really beneficial for Madison Central is changing from man to man to a 
swapping 2-3 or even a 3-2 where they're dropping the points. And uh, Dunbar had a hard time trying to learn to figure out how they were going to attack. Jerry, what do you think? Uh, what do you think about the first half? Well, I think you're exactly on point with your comments. Dunbar has no answer. They don't have a shooter. I think in halftime, uh, you're going to see Dunbar's adjustments are going to be one of two things. They're either going to try to forcefully pound the ball inside and use, they do have some height, they got some size in there, and they're either going to try to force it down low uh, or they may going to shift the lineup and they're going to maybe try to shoot the ball from the outside to cause an opening. I don't think they have a shooter or they would have just rotated them in. That's not really anything but a personnel change right. could have been done during the first half. The fact that they didn't do that makes me think they don't have an answer and they may try to just force some things to happen in the second half. I think Michael Downey has shown that she's their shooter, but uh, I'm afraid Dunbar's gonna see more of the same in 2-3 zone. As Madison Central will get ready to start the third quarter and Central will have possession. Quick, we quick start. No, I'm sorry. I was just going to say a quick announcement. You know, a lot of the storm victims over the last uh, couple days, they've been collecting stuff at East Side Baptist Church. I know they had two trailer loads of stuff they sent today to be of help to uh, people that were going through disaster relief and cleanup. Those could be collected there all week from 8 to 5. Again, that's East Side Community Church, formerly East Side Baptist Church here in Richmond. Yeah, we need... Uh, times like this people are really good about banding together and helping folks out and that's what we need to do back to action feldhouse misses a fadeaway 10 footer i like to have something going toward the goal there instead of a fadeaway but uh, mackle down a four three and it's no good muhammad with the rebound and she loses it off her foot so back to the indians we got a break there you know a little bit of what we saw from the boys yesterday the afternoon tip maybe it looks like it could have affected Dunbar a little bit today. They just don't seem uh, to be uh, as focused as you'd expect for a regional championship game. Brooks to Feldhouse and she walked, so two straight empty possessions. This is a time where you don't need to give anybody any hope. Absolutely right. Score two points first possession, two points this possession. You're up 18, the game's over essentially. Or well, 17, depends on what you hit. Is that Whitehall math coming back <laughs> into play? I was counting on him hitting a three. <laughs> <laughs> nice move by Fender as the lead is cut to 11. Looks like Dunbar is going to stick with their man-to-man. -man. Well, they don't have much choice. They have to try to uh, be as aggressive on defense as they can be. Brooks looks to take it all the way and she turns it over. Muhammad will go all the way and she's fouled. It's fortunate she didn't get that in. She's finished well the last two days. Um, so Madison Central a little bit fortunate that Hinkle's foul didn't turn into a three point play opportunity. Three straight possessions that uh, the Indians Two of them were turnovers and one was a uh, fadeaway. Muhammad with the free throw. Really doing exactly what you said you don't want to do and get it to a nine point game and their coaching staff is saying, hey, one possession at a time. That's right. All right, we've got us a ball game, 36-27, nine-point lead by the Indians, but um, they've come out of the half struggling. Feldhouse. That's just not a good shot, shot right there. Oh, we don't want Brooks to pick up a foul, and oh, they're giving her a timeout with the loose ball. But that's what they do. 30-second timeout by Dunbar, 36-27, 6.25 left in the third quarter, and a 30-second timeout, so we'll stay here. Madison Central right now needs to be talking to their players. And Coach Cooksey, uh, I think he's going to say to them, let's get a defensive stop. 
regardless of the defense bend, when we get down here, they're going to run a set. You're going to see them run something that's going to create a type of shot they want. Doesn't mean they're going to hit it. It's going to mean, though, it's not going to be a 22-foot three-point shot or a fadeaway. It's going to be something that's uh, got a pretty high likelihood of, uh, of going in the basket. Thirty-six twenty-seven. Dunbar has the lead as the Indians go to a two-three zone that uh, was really effective there in the first half. Apple down into Parks on the baseline and she scores. They're a little more patient. They've got a design. They know what they want to do, but they're not rushing shots, taking a pump fake, and making sure to get the open look. That's the lead to seven. Brooks for three, rimmed out. There's an eerie feel to the game right now as Central's losing control. McEldowney looks to give it to Fender, to Parks. That's her range. She's hot right there. It's time for a timeout for Madison Central. There is a timeout by Coach Cooksey as Dunbar has went on a 8-0 run here. 36-21 is the lead for Central. 5.42 left. We'll be right back after this. Are you interested in sponsoring school sports right here? For more information how you or your business can sponsor local school sports and student-athletes, contact Sean Rosenbaum at 248-0280. You can also visit MadisonCountySchoolSports.com for more information. Support your school and student-athletes by visiting MadisonCountySchoolSports.com today. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pet Service, Guardian Bank in Lexington, FaithCreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear in Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, your local repair connection. WWAG playing stars and legends 107.5 If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here visit RosenbaumCommunications.com Hi, I'm David Sullivan. In the years traveling with ESPN and covering sports around the country, one of my biggest concerns was that my dogs were well cared for. Well, here at Luxury Pets, you can feel very comfortable your animals and pets are being cared for. Well, thank you, David. You know, Luxury Pet Services is the home for happy dogs. Luxury Pet Services is located about three minutes from Richmond Center. Visit our website or Facebook us. Luxury Pet Services, the home for happy dogs. Welcome back to Madison County School Sports Television as the Indians really need a bucket right here and need to show some patience, set some screens as Brooks gives it to Hinkle. Hinkle will penetrate and shoot over the goal, rebound, and it's no good. As you got to go up strong as Fender goes all the way, but Feldhaus gets the rebound. That's not a good shot by Fender either. Brooks has it. Gives it to Feldhaus, and she'll pull from six. No good. Congleton with a big rebound, and it's blocked. Over to Hinkle. Hinkle out to Feldhaus. Back to Brooks. Take your time. Five minutes left as Brooks penetrates and shoots, and it's hard. She gets a rebound, she's fouled. That's uh, exactly what we need. We've got to get these girls in there to rebound. 
Well, she got by her defender. The problem was uh, what you really needed to see right there was somebody from Central slide to an open spot for her to drop it off. She got hung in the air without that uh, anybody to throw it to. Had to put the shot up, but give her a ton of credit for going after her own offensive rebound. 37-31, Madison Central with a six-point lead. Working, Clay, be ready down there. Let's make a stop. 38-31. Two big free throws to stem the tide there. This is a big trip for Dunbar right here. Fender and Muhammad to Clark. The McEldowney down to Parks. That, uh, foul is on Congleton. That is her second foul. Parks will go the line for two, where she is two for two, and she has ten points. And it rolls in. That girl has got a nice shooting touch. We've said it a couple times, but uh, she got a nice shot. She's just a sophomore. No good. And rebounding foul on Michael down. Good block out by Feldhouse. Feldhouse has 15 points and six rebounds. Uh, she's played a huge game. Sometimes you're feeling it so much, though, you make some decisions that aren't the best. Brooks picks the ball up and throws a bad pass. As Edwards has the ball, gives it to Parks. Over to McEldowney, over to Parks. Parks will look to take it, pulls up from six, got it. She's good underneath there. She's just a sophomore. She's somebody I don't want to see for a couple That's years. Right. She's going to work down in there, 38-34. As we go under four here in the third quarter, Brooks takes it all the way and misses. Gets her own rebound and puts it in. Nice job by Laren Brooks, 40-34. McEldowney will pick a pump fake and shoot, and oh, passes it to Parks. Defender over to Edwards. Out to Muhammad. A little bit crazy right there. Fender has the ball over to Muhammad to McEldowney. Need to make sure McEldowney is getting ready to pull the trigger. And she does from 16. No good. Rebounded by Congleton. Big miss right there. That was a big trip. If they laid off me like they're laying off Fender, I'd have been salivating like Pavlov's dogs. Brooks takes it all the way and misses as Fender looks to go coast to coast. Hands it off to Edwards and she oh scores. Oh my she's goodness. I don't think that's a good call. I think that was trailing the play and didn't interfere, but that's the call. That young referee there has made them all day long. Couple, couple of rush shots by Brooks here. On, we got the lead and uh, need to take our time. She's actually Gotten a couple of them, put them back in. Otherwise, we could be looking at being tied and going down right now. Edwards misses a free throw. Wow. Out of bounds off Hinkle. Parks was over her back, but no call. I think his pet is a bulldog. Yeah. That gentleman's having a hard time refereeing, I'll tell you that. McEldowney to Parks. Fender as they go around the corner. Muhammad down to McEldowney and she walks, no call. I believe that was a good call, it was awful. Well, if, you, if you're not gonna, yeah. You have to assume she blocked the shot. I don't think she misses one that bad. Um, I, I saw, a, I don't know if you've seen it, as I saw a show one time on uh, ESPN showing uh, out of bounds calls under the basket like that. How many of them actually, they don't want to call foul, so they give it to the player, but right. the reality is about 55% of the time it shouldn't go that way. Parks from 15 She's is on automatic. Fire. She's on fire. Two point slow, game. Slow getting started, but she's really warmed it up now. 
Parks has 15 points. Six for eight. No, oh, she's six for 10 from the field as Minner looks to take it all the way and knocked out of bounds. 40 38. Two minutes left. We've got us a ball game here in the third quarter. Inbounds play to go to Collinson. I don't know what uh, Miller was doing there, but she. We got lucky and got the ball back. Parks with nine this quarter. Brooks has it out top. Two minutes left here in the fourth. Congleton has it for Parks. Call some disruption down to Muhammad, and she missed. Benner with the rebound. We have got a scrum here. I believe Coach Cooksey is going to get lucky and get him a timeout. This referee from the other end of the floor is going to give it to him. The roof may come off if they give him the timeout, and they're talking about it. Jump ball. They're going to call a jump ball. The old guy said, I got less hair in more years. <laughs> I'm taking this call. I tell you what, that old guy, the one that counts to 10 real fast. <laughs> I think he don't count that fast. I think he forgot where he was counting. <laughs> oh, mercy. That should be tie game really right now. 40-38. Muhammad really blew one. Somebody needs to take care of Parks as Edwards driving in. I mean, they've, they've gone on a 17. We throw it away. Muhammad has the ball. McEldowney will shoot and miss. Muhammad gets the rebound as Central does not get back. Muhammad shoots and she's fouled. They have I mean, totally taken over the game. You said it early. We took three or four bad trips, a bad, couple bad shots, a couple turnovers, and instead of having a 16 or 17 point lead, they didn't score during that time, That's right. but we kept letting them inch back into it. It, it just, it, you, you could see it. You watch that. To my detriment, I watch a whole lot of basketball, and you could just sense it. Well, I, I've got to give the coach uh, from Dunbar some credit. They've made some adjustments, and they're getting some baskets against that zone, same zone. Coach Cooksey might, for a little bit, want to try to switch it up, do something different, different zone, go man-to-man. -man. There's a lot of energy right now. In here for Dunbar. 42-40 as we go. Feldhouse for three. No good. I don't know why we were shooting a three there, but we did. And uh, bless his heart, that official right there is dominating the game right now, and that's not what uh, that's not what you want to happen. But he has. He and the uh, older gentleman. Having a tough time. 42-40 Dunbar with a two-point lead. If they have come roaring back, Central's only scored four points. Well, they have scored 19. 19 to four. Dunbar has really got out and doing what they needed to do. Uh, Parks is the difference because she got in some open spots, got some spacing that allowed her to get some easy shots. She scored, I think, nine, I think we said this quarter. Uh, but in addition to that, her scoring allows them to get into defensive full court pressure. And uh, that has affected Madison Central a little bit. They've turned it over a couple times, but they've rushed shots down here, taking shots you don't really need. That's right. 42-40, one minute and 26 seconds left in the third quarter. Madison Central has to fight from behind. Fender and Muhammad finds Edwards down low and she misses good defense by Congleton. Minner with a rebound over to Brooks. They went to a different set there. They went to a half court trap. A lot of one on one action right now at, uh, as we go under a minute. Here in the third. They're trying to go, but Dunbar sees the plan. 
Uh, over to Connelton for a high low. He throws it away. Now I'm going to tell you that I don't mind the trap. I think it's a good decision to change it up. Watch out though. You don't want to give up something easy down underneath. And that last play, they really kind of almost did that. Good recovery defense. Mackel down a four, three. Good. That's the one we said you couldn't leave open. And as soon as it left her hand, man, it looked good. Brooks goes all the way and she misses. As we go under 20 seconds, Fender to McEldowney for three. Oh. No good. Muhammad with the rebound and she's fouled. Wow. I don't believe I've ever seen a, a quarter change as dramatically as this quarter has changed at this point. 22 to four. Uh, what we're looking and, at. and you, not only is it 22 to four, but that came off of a 13 point halftime lead. So you had played exactly how you wanted to up to the half. Now 23 to four, you've been outscored in the third quarter. Muhammad is five for five from the free throw line. Forty-six forty. Nine seconds left. Dunbar has a six-point lead, and it's now seven. As there's nine seconds left, Central needs a bucket in the worst way. As we go under three, Brooks shoots, misses, and time runs out. At the end of three, Dunbar 47, Madison Central 40. We'll be right back after this. Are you interested in sponsoring school sports right here? For more information how you or your business can sponsor local school sports and student athletes, contact Sean Rosenbaum at 248-0280. You can also visit MadisonCountySchoolSports.com for more information. Support your school and student athletes by visiting MadisonCountySchoolSports.com today. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pet Service, Guardian Bank in Lexington, FaithCreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear in Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, your local repair connection. WWAG playing stars and legends, 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. Are you looking for an alternative to burning wick candles? Check out Scentsy Wickless Candles at b2enetwork.scentsy.us. Give Cynthia a call at 859-684-7952 and ask her how you can get free products from their new spring and summer catalog. A great way for school fundraising too. Call Cynthia, 859-684-7952. Hi, I'm Randy Neely. And I'm Jerry Goble. Be sure to watch your teams on MadisonCountySchoolSportsTelevision.com where we highlight every child in Madison County, no matter what the season. Make sure to watch your school sports at MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Welcome back to Madison County School Sports Television and Dunbar has made a massive charge since halftime. Madison Central was ahead 36-23. And we sit at the beginning of the fourth, 47-40. So uh, we got some work to do here as the Indians have the ball as we go in the final quarter to see who goes to the girls' Sweet 16. 
Hinkle looks down low to Minner. Minner will take it all the way and she's blocked by Fender. Well, uh, did Kim Bay Matumbo would have done a little finger <laughs> move right there. Yeah. The, the, one of the biggest problems you got right now is energy. Belthouse. There nice we go. Bucket. Nice basket. That's, that's the do. shots. Paint. That's the shots we should have been shooting earlier. 47-42. The Indians switched to man to man, which they have to. The only downside to this is what it's what Dunbar really wanted. Fender will take it all the way and score. It's what they wanted. This is a place that's hard for Central, not with Laren Brooks. Right. She can guard them, maybe, maybe mentor, but you're going to find some mismatches, which give them an advantage. As Brooks looks to get it down to Feldhouse, but she's covered up. Hinkle will give it to Feldhouse, and she looks to penetrate, shoots from six, no good. Men are in there battling, and it stays with, stays with the Indians. Well, one of the things that Dunbar has done to Laren Brooks in this game, we talked about it early, they were letting her go right. They have strongly guarded her right from about the second quarter on, forcing her left, and it really changes up her ability to finish. Brooks' pass was tipped to Miller for three, and uh, no good. Muhammad takes it all the way and misses. Fender, smallest girl on the floor with the rebound, but Miller grabs it. And Brooks looks to go all the way. She pulls it back out to Feldhouse. Over to Minner. Six minutes, 20 seconds left. Indians down by seven. Brooks again to her left hand and lays it in. She got to finish with her right, though, if you notice. As Fender goes all the way and... Wow. They're fast. You've got to get back down the floor. Lickety split, they'll be past you. Edwards lays it in, 51-44. Brooks looks to take her again. And Muhammad's playing good D over to Minner. Minner spins, and I don't know what that was, but Feldhouse got the rebound. They've got a foul. Well, <laughs> I counted up. I've seen that much contact 341 times. <laughs> Was that your red Foley man? <laughs> yes, sir. Feldhouse looks to inbounds it, gives it to Brooks. And this is a mismatch. Brooks takes her. We'll go the lane and score. 51-46. The Indians need to turn around and get back. Muhammad. Guarding by Hinkle. We gotta have a stop right here. Stopping the score. Hinkle, Hinkle cannot guard Muhammad, not all over the court. And that's gonna they're gonna run some time. Muhammad to Mackle Downey for three. They're gonna run clock right now, Randy. We gotta get out and play full court man to man pressure defense. 54-46, the Indians down eight as McEldowney has got red hot from that same spot. Five minutes left, Dunbar with a full timeout. We'll be right back after this. Hi, I'm Randy Neely. And I'm Jerry Goble. Be sure to watch your teams on Madison County School Sports Television.com. Where we highlight every child in Madison County, no matter what the season. Make sure to watch your school sports at MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Are you looking for an alternative to burning wick candles? Check out Scentsy Wickless Candles at b2enetwork.scentsy.us. Give Cynthia a call at 859-684-7952 and ask her how you can get free products from their new spring and summer catalog. A great way for school fundraising too. Call Cynthia, 859-684-7952. 
You're watching Madison County Schools Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pet Service, Guardian Bank in Lexington, FaithCreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear in Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, your local repair connection. WWAG playing stars and legends, 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. Welcome back to Madison County School Sports Television. Madison Central is facing an eight-point deficit here. Pelthouse gets it to O'Brien, over to Hinkle for three, but she was blocked by Fender as Ashley takes it to the baseline over to O'Brien, and she walked. Oh, wow. I tell you, you got to give these kids from Dunbar some credit. That little Fender, she came out of the middle lane. She's not big as a minute, uh -uh. but she leaped up in the air and got a piece of that one. That's the second shot. She's blocked. Mohammed looks to take it, gives it to Fender. Fender to Edwards. Edwards to Parks, and she's fouled. They got total control right now, Jerry. Well, when they take you out of what you want to do and spread you out, and you just look right now at the court, and I love our Madison Central Indian team. They're a great team. And when they control momentum and control the game, they really do well. But when you look at what's out there right now, quickness is in their advantage. When you make this court 94 feet long, it puts it in their advantage. Parks returned with her miss from the line. She missed two of them, but they got the rebound. That man, I tell you what, that's how the second half has went. 31 to 10. Oh, Whoa. Wow. 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 Fender is. What a move by Fender. Well, for anybody out there who thinks you got to be tall to be a good basketball player, Jordan Fender, 5'2, junior guard. How many? Who do they have that's senior? Uh, no one. <laughs> Everybody playing for them's young too. They've it's going to be a juniors. battle. They have three juniors and two sophomores on the floor at this time. No, oh, I'll take that back. McEldowney is a senior. She's risen up in this game too. McEldowney is four for six from three-point range. Yeah. Fender looks to this rebounded by O'Brien. Brooks, we got to hit some threes and we got to have some stops. And quickly, Brooks to Feldhouse. Feldhouse will penetrate and miss, gets her own rebound. O'Brien gets it and wow, they're wrestling down there. I, you know, I don't, I, I know the call. That's what they give them when you're behind a player like the. Fender was from Dunbar there. She's reaching around her. I don't think, I think it's a foul, not a jump ball. Right, I agree. Fender to McAdowney, down to Parks, who has dominated third quarter. She missed, gets the rebound, sticks it in. Wow. She took Feldhouse down low and uh, She's a made it happen. That house looks like she is wore out. Madison and, uh, Central has scored 10 points in this half, making it 11. But Dunbar has scored 35. 35. Whitehall man. 35 to 12. I don't care if you had to take time. your shoes off to do that or not. That was good. Well, they can't see that, so. 
Bahama defender to McEldowney for three. No good. Parks down there rebounding. She's. We don't have a soul down there to rebound. Well, she's played the game that's delivered Dunbar. I like a lot of the players they've had tonight. They've played well. But you take her away from this game, Madison Central still wins. Parks has 17 and 5. And scores got 18. And, you know, she got frustrated early. She uh, did. She was frustrated down here. You could see she couldn't get to an open spot, couldn't get a look. She hung with her coaches and what they were telling her to do. And as we here with the smallest girl on the floor, 5'2". Did you see, did you see that leaping ability, though? Yes, sir. Boy, she shot right up in the air. As Dunbar rolls out to a 13-point lead. Make it 14. 62-48. Brooks to Minner for a bucket. And this you know, I I say I agree with you what you said earlier. We uh, Miller made a difference in the last couple of games. I would have liked to have seen her a little more earlier. Maybe that could have really made the difference. The game's not over, but a lot's got to happen here. Bellhouse looks to dump it to Miller. She scores. And we try to set up in her press, but it's not working as Muhammad takes it all the way and she's fouled. I mean, you can't trap what you can't catch. <laughs> well, you, you're not even set, and she's streaking down the sideline. Coach Cooksey held up both fists, and she was in half court. Yeah, you don't have that kind of time. Muhammad misses her first free throw as the Indians are down 12. Well, I think myself, yourself, probably, probably all the Madison Central fans and I would say 75% of the Dunbar fans probably at halftime were thinking Madison Central girls are going to have back-to-back -back trips. That's right. But how easy and how quick it can change. Feldhouse looks to penetrate and she misses. And Fender has it, she goes all the way. And it's a jump ball. Good call. That was the right call. O'Brien was fortunate to get turned around in time to even see her there, but she got a good I'll, hand on the ball. I'll say this about Fender, she is a jet. <laughs> and I don't think she's the fastest one on her team. Brooks looks to take it all the way and uh, uh, no good. 63-50 as Mohammed gets fouled way out here at midcourt. We can't uh, catch up with him enough to trap him. No. The coach is trying to tell him to settle down. Dunbar's coach. They're saying, what the heck are you talking about? Yeah. We want to make this up. We want, it to go we want 64 minutes of a game. Yeah. Muhammad misses another free throw. But, you know, that's the one thing I have to give them some, some due credit on is they, they finished the game the way they took the lead on the game. So many teams work their way back to the lead and then change how they play. They've continued to do what they've been doing in the second half. And it's worked. Manor picks it all the way and scores. Thirty-second timeout. 64-52, 2:45 left. We'll be right back after this. Are you looking for an alternative to burning wick candles? Check out Cincy Wickless Candles at b2enetwork.cincy.us. Give Cynthia a call at 859-684-7952 and ask her how you can get free products from their new spring and summer catalog. A great way for school fundraising too. Call Cynthia, 859-684-7952. 
Hello everybody, I'm David Sullivan for Rosenbaum Communications. Rosenbaum Communications is a full-service television production and media company. We've produced projects and provided services all over the world for such clients as ABC Sports, NBC Sports, CBS, ESPN, Amway International, Time Warner, and many regional and local clients such as East Kentucky Power, Center College, Georgetown College, KET, the Kentucky Coal Association, Keeneland, and the Kentucky School Board Association, and many, many more. Give Rosenbaum Communications a call and let us quote and plan your next media project. No project is too small. Our client list may be impressive, but our service is very personal and budget friendly. Visit our website at rosenbaumcommunications.com. Let us show you how to get started. We look forward to hearing from you soon. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pet Service, Guardian Bank in Lexington, faithcreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear in Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, your local repair connection. WWAG playing stars and legends, 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. Welcome back to Madison County School Sports Television. We got 245 left here in the game. Dunbar up 12. Madison Central pressing 2-2-1, and we've got a steal as Miller gets it. Throws it to Brooks. And we've got a timeout. Minner is hurt on the floor. It looked like she got need, maybe. Yeah, right in the thigh, I believe. Good effort by Madison Central there to get the steal. Uh, there's a world of time left in this game, but you got to make some things happen. Belthouse for three. Got it. Nine points. Timeout. Madison Central, 64-55. They're not dead yet. Full timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back after this. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pet Service, Guardian Bank in Lexington, FaithCreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear in Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, your local repair connection, WWAG playing stars and legends, 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com. Want to do some school fundraising? Call now. Call Cynthia at 859-684-7952 or visit b2enetwork.cincy.us. Call now and get products from their new and spring summer catalog. Totally free. That's Cincy Wickless Candles. Call now. Are you interested in sponsoring school sports right here? For more information how you or your business can sponsor local school sports and student athletes, contact Sean Rosenbaum at 248-0280. You can also visit MadisonCountySchoolSports.com for more information. Support your school and student athletes by visiting MadisonCountySchoolSports.com today.
Are you looking for an alternative to burning wick candles? Check out Scentsy Wickless Candles at b2enetwork.scentsy.us. Give Cynthia a call at 859-684-7952 and ask her how you can get free products from their new spring and summer catalog. A great way for school fundraising too. Call Cynthia, 859-684-7952. Sixty-four fifty-five, two twenty-five left as Madison Central looks to put the press on. As ball comes into Parks to Edwards, to Muhammad, to McEldowney. Yeah, you know, um, I don't know why we'd want to foul their best shooter. No, I don't either. And, and if you're if you're Dunbar, you know, I think they're saying to them, "Oh, there, the, the press Madison Central's putting on." They would let you stand here and run 10 seconds out. So, so their coach is probably saying, let's let's make them come foul us. Let's don't throw it away and let them transition into a bucket. And they did a better job there. Ran 10 seconds off the clock. She makes one of two, so it's a 10-point game. Brooks has it. We've got 2.15 left in the game. Down 10. Laren will go all the way, and that shot's has not worked today. No, she struggled and she's tired. Look at her. Yep. Fender has it. And it's fouled by Brooks. Uh, you know, of course Dunbar is still pressing you. You need threes. I think you try to drive that thing toward the goal, draw defense, and kick it to somebody, yep. get a little open look. That's not been the, the game plan uh, second half. And Laren's not had a good uh, good night shooting the basketball. Brooks is 6 for 19, but she's got 19 points. Feldhouse has 20. As Central's down by 12 as we get under two minutes. Hinkle will drive and gets it blocked. As you said, swapping buckets is not going to help. Muhammad has it and she's fouled. I, I would tell you that uh, if they can play the style of game they want to play, the winner of this game could have gone a long way in state tournament. I would give uh, a lot of opportunity for these uh, Dunbar Bulldogs, Lady Bulldogs. They, they've they played well tonight. They've shown they can adjust. Mohamed got it. She's a good free throw shooter, Jerry. She is now seven for, excuse me, nine for 11 from the free throw line. That's knocking them down. You think she's got Time Warner Cable? Maybe saw our yeah. show. They have that in Lexington now, so she may be watching. She misses. Feldhouse gets fouled. Not smart. Good job by Ashton. Not smart by number 20 from Dunbar. That was Edwards, and she, you know. Brooks will shoot from three. No good. Muhammad has the ball. Foul by Feldhouse. Well, a season of such, such an accomplished season they've had. They've done a great job this year. I know Madison Central, the Red, White, and Blue Army, disappointed both in boys and girls. Right. But, you know, they've had a great year. Both teams had a great year. Yeah, this is a uh, fantastic season they've had, but uh, it is a bitter pill when you're up total control, up 13 at half, and you could just tell. Uh, first four trips was three turnovers and a fadeaway 15-footer. And although Dunbar didn't score, you, you, you just you could just sense that uh, for some reason they just did not feel comfortable. 70-55 as we go under a minute. Miller for three. Good. I really... 
Muhammad is fouled. A minute 10 left, 70-58. Yeah, you could feel the momentum shift. And, uh, you know, we talked about it. When they cut it to nine, they got it to 11 and had two free throws, got it to nine. And I said, you know, Dunbar coach is just telling their girls, let's take it a trip at a time. Right. Let's get it to seven. Let's get it to five. At five, timeout. It was game Because on. now we're uh-oh. And uh, Madison Central took it back out to seven, five. I think it went seven, five a couple times. And then next thing you know. Dunbar was up five. It was exactly how quickly that it turned. 72-58 as Muhammad is now 14 for 17 from the line. Brooks for three, no good. Feldhouse with the rebound and she fouled. Ashton with the big night. Free throw is no good. Minner with a rebound. And no good. They thought it was a two-shot foul. I, I agree with them. If they fouled it, she was trying to shoot, tip the rebound in. She was trying to, to put it back up, but evidently they called the foul on the rebound, which made it a one and one. 72-58 as we go under a minute with Fender, who I think is the player that changed all the momentum with her aggressiveness, defense, and the way she finished. Fender and Parks. I know Michael Downey hit the big threes, but Fender and Parks took control of the game in the third quarter. Not a, not a doubt about that. And uh, Fender with 14, Muhammad with 16, Michael Downey with 13, and Parks with 18. I mean, you talk about a balanced scoring attack. It took them a while to get it going, and it took them halftime, really, to get adjusted. I think one of the things Central could have done second half is maybe thrown a, a, a complete switch up on the defense at them. That might have affected them because they were coming out ready for that 2-3 or that 1-2-2 two, two drop back. Muhammad is fouled by Brooks. <laughs> That's it. Uh, that's that fast counting gentleman. That uh, that was a three. That was three ten second call. She was down here. <laughs> As the season draws to a close, Feldhouse, Miller, Hinkle, and Laren Brooks come off the floor for the last time. And crushing defeat for the Indians as these girls put their heart and soul and same thing with Dunbar but uh, man it that hurts when you go into the half and you can taste it you know you're going back to Bowling Green for the second straight year well and last year Madison Central went to Bowling Green had to play against a Rock Castle County team with a, a UConn signee and and really took that game to that should have won the game, could have easily won it and gone all the way to win the whole thing. And you know they went, were thinking they get it back there, have a chance to to uh, make some revenge on that, take advantage of that. As it turns out, uh, you know they end up with a very difficult loss here. As we go under 30 seconds, um, 75, 60. And Dunbar will steal it and look to run the clock out as they'll just hold it. Or should anyway. Dunbar, a fantastic second half. They come on strong and beat Madison Central 75 to 60. And they will move on to the state tournament on Wednesday. Madison Central with a fantastic season, but come up one game short as they lose 75 to 60. Dunbar with a fantastic 
second half and took charge in the third quarter. Madison Central goes down to defeat. 75-60. Girls need to hold their head up high and work a lot in the offseason and try it again next year. As we wrap up the season, we want to thank everybody for watching Madison County's Good School Sports Television. Good night, everybody. You're watching Madison County School Sports Television, brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pet Service, Guardian Bank in Lexington, FaithCreated.org, Richmond Tourism, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear in Richmond, Davenport Custom Guitars, your local repair connection. WWAG playing stars and legends, 107.5. If you'd like to be a sponsor of local high school sports right here, visit RosenbaumCommunications.com.